Expect me, nigga, like you expect Jesus to come back. Expect me, nigga. I'm coming. Horus, the Egyptian falcon god. Horus the falcon god was Egypt's most memorable public god venerated by all of Egypt. One of the main lords of old Egypt, the love of Horus crossed more than 5,000 years. With notice in records from the late pre-dynastic period through Roman times, Horus turned into the catch-all name for the majority various divine beings related with falcons. Egyptian folklore highlights various renditions of his name, family and significance. Horus was also known as the sun god and the god of war. The name Horus means the one far above, which indicated his importance above all other gods of Egypt. An age-old tale. A just and fair king is slain in cold blood. His killer? His ambitious and cruel brother, who subsequently usurps the throne, and the kingdom is thrown into chaos. Meanwhile, the king's son, the one true king, is sent into exile to grow up strong and return to challenge his wicked uncle for the crown. It is a familiar concept, seen in countless stories from William Shakespeare's Hamlet to Disney's The Lion King. But one could make the very real argument that the first iteration of this story comes from Egyptian mythology, and the original displaced crown prince was none other than the falcon god, Horus. The venerated son of Osiris and Isis, Horus, also called Heru, is often depicted in artwork as a strapping young man with the head and occasional wings of a large falcon, or simply as a large falcon with the double crown upon his head. Horus was a powerful sky god, associated primarily with the sun but also with the moon. He was the protector of the royalty of Egypt, avenger of wrongs, defender of order, uniter of Upper and Lower Egypt, and regularly invoked by Egyptian rulers before battle and praised afterwards. Horus's most prominent story in Egyptian mythology comes during the tale of Osiris and his cruel brother Set. Jealous of his brother, Set slew Osiris and had scattered his body all across the land of Egypt. As Set claimed the throne for himself, Osiris's widow, Isis, quested to find the remains of her husband. With aid from other gods, Isis was able to revive Osiris and bring him back to life, but for only one night, as nothing that had died, even a god, could remain in the land of the living. So Osiris and Isis spent their final night together in a warm embrace. And from this embrace, Horus was conceived. Horus was the son of the true king, and plenty wise and strong, a capable youth, but perhaps too young and too inexperienced to lord over Egypt. Set was older and more experienced, and physically the strongest of the gods, the only one capable of battling Apophis when the sun barge travels through the underworld. Yet his cruel and unpredictable nature, coupled with the fact that he had slain his brother, made many of the gods doubtful of his potential as a leader. And so began the contendings of Horus and Set, a series of challenges to determine who would rule over the world. Numerous different challenges were presented from both parties, some that favored Horus and others that favored Set. Contests of memory, of wit, and physical prowess, and more than a few hand-to-hand -hand skirmishes, all of which Horus would come out victorious over Set, whether by his own doing or with aid from other gods. A testament of order overcoming chaos, of good triumphing over evil. As uncle and nephew battled in the heavens, chaos was loosed upon the world. Storms raged in the desert. Animals fought their own kind. Fish in the rivers devoured one another, and still the gods fought for many lifetimes.
as the storytellers said, and the world descended into darkness and disorder. Some say that Set was told to stand down by the Ennead. Others that Isis had tricked him into relinquishing his power. And others that Neith, the mediator of disputes, ruled in favor of Horus. Regardless, at the end of eighty years of conflict, Horus was given the throne of his father, while Set was relegated to a far lesser role. Having defeated Set and restored order, Horus would go on to be known as Horu Sema Taui, the Horus, uniter of the two lands, 